no pill. We were sick with denial, so we took the pills. Red, blue, white, black pills in no specific order. We became aware of our grief-stricken condition, and as such, we began to heal. At first, we were livid with the nightmare we had awoken into, righteously angry with the broken system burning down around us. Slowly, we came to know that our rage could not break our shackles, no matter how justified. It simply burnt us, too. Depression wasn't far behind the realization, and it took many good people from us. For most, we trudged through the swamp and may have wallowed in it for a time, but we kept moving and found the shore, the rubble of our culture still smoking, half standing in a perpetual collapse, skeletal scaffolding exposed from the blows dealt at tempo and without mercy or hesitation. The hope found in those desiccated ruins still half smoking was false, and all attempts to bargain for or with the carrion was a negotiation with vultures over the rotted corpse long dead and decayed over who would pick the bones clean. Even if it could be resurrected in the state, it would be a hollow husk, an undead abomination stumbling towards the nearest pumping heart to devour its gray matter so that it might stay animate long enough to further decay. Now that the smell is so terribly strong, no man who is not feasting upon it can deny that it is dead and rotting. In that acceptance, you can truly heal and no longer need to lean on the crutch of medication. Stand strong, rehabilitated and reborn, a man of no pills, of no crutch or cane, able and ready to rebuild his culture in his own image the image of his ancestors refreshed in youthful vigor through his hands. Stand tall, knowing where you came from and where you may go riding on your resolve, armed with wit and will. Stand and take the places of great men who have fallen holding up our great culture. United we stand, my brothers. You don't need any pills. You need community. You need your honor. And you need a purpose. Make them.